Blue Blood Clash in the CBS Sports Classic. North Carolina takes on Kentucky and what looks like a potentially great basketball game. Guys, Kentucky has played well minus their loss to UNC Wilmington. Uh, the freshmen have played strong, and you also got Aaron Bradshaw back in the lineup for the Cats. Guys, who are you watching in this game to make the biggest impact? Christian, we'll start with you. I think I think you you said it right. I'm Aaron Bradshaw. I think he's he's one of those guys that can be the catalyst that makes this Kentucky team be that team of what we kind of expected last year. I mean, I think Kentucky is one of the top three, if not top teams in the SEC. And um, he's one of those guys that that really can bring the this Kentucky team to the next level. Maddie, who do you got? Or what, what, what player are you looking for? Listen, I'm sure everyone is tired of me saying it, but Adu Thiero has been amazing for Kentucky once again. His growth this year has been undeniable. And I think he's going to give, you know, R.J. Davis a run for his money if they put him on him. Um, just the similar styles of play, but I, I think Adu Thiero is going to be able to outclass him a little bit. I like Christian's pick on watching Aaron Bradshaw come back. I think it's exciting. I think it's going to be an interesting matchup down low when you have this super athletic big who's going to be playing against Baycott. Um, so that one's going to be interesting to me from a matchup standpoint. I, I'm still big on Reed Shepard this season coming off the bench. I think he's a dynamic shooter and someone who plays with a lot of energy when he's on the floor with a high, ba- a high basketball IQ. Um, Overall, though, I do really like North Carolina's experience. I think R.J. Davis is a very good basketball player. Um, seen both these teams play a lot this season, so I'm, I'm really interested in this matchup. Um, but I also think you guys know who I favor when it comes to youth versus experience. All right, who? right, let's go to the picks. With that being said, Christian, you rocking Cats or you rocking UNC? I got Kentucky in this one. You got Kentucky in this one. All right. Why do you got Kentucky? Just curious. Uh, I just think that the, you know, you're talking youth first experience. I think that this Kentucky team has a, a little bit of different juice than what we've seen in years past. Um, obviously, Coach Cal is capable of bringing in elite level talent. He does it every single year. Um, but when this team is hot and when they're on, they're on. Um, you've seen a few games, and I, I'm sorry, I don't have their schedule up again. I'm driving. Um, where well, the Kansas Kentucky, game is a perfect example, I feel like, for yes, sure. Yeah, exactly. That's the game I'm thinking of, where Kentucky, when they're playing, and they're playing well, they 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 can beat any team in the country. And I and I do think that, that that's, what the, that's what you're going to see. Um, I think Kentucky's going to end up beating North Carolina. Maddie, who do you got picked in this game that's going down in Atlanta? I'm going to go Kentucky as well. Um, if I am correct, and I can't remember which players, but there are a few Kentuckys players that this will be a hometown game for them. So I feel like the fans are going to show up and show out uh, down in Atlanta, I believe. Um, so I feel like it's going to be a good, good game for Kentucky to come home, kind of have, have a nice reunion there. Um, get a win against UNC. I think the player you're thinking of is Rob Dillingham. Um, and then, no. also, yeah. And he's been great as well. I'm going to go. I'm going to go North Carolina. Um, not that I don't think that Kentucky is capable of winning this basketball game. Totally do. And I might be setting myself up for failure this week in our picks. But, hey, I had a good week last week. Um, but overall, I think this is going to be a fantastic basketball game. But I, I do like North Carolina's experience. Um, they got some experience pieces. To me, this North Carolina team is starting to shed that narrative that they had last season about just being horrible. Um, but... Overall, they like to play with a lot of tempo. Kentucky also likes to play with a lot of tempo. I think that's going to create a very interesting matchup uh, situation. The players that I think can tilt this game for Kentucky, uh, Antonio Reeves, a big one to me. Uh, If Antonio Reeves has a big game, I think he could be huge um, with the experience that he has on the floor. You just got to make sure the right guys get the ball in their hands uh, in late game situations. And I think that's going to be one of the things that decision-making factor time might be the difference in this one. Kentucky's still growing up. They're going to be dominant. They're going to be a very good team to deal with in conference play because they've had the opportunity to face a lot of competition. Um, But right now, until they do it, I'm probably going to go with the other direction for a little while, and then I'll be proven wrong. This might be it. But I'm going to pick North Carolina in this one just because you got a couple more guys who know how to make the late-game decisions to get a win. So I'm going to rock North Carolina in this one. I'm waiting to be wrong in this one because I think Kentucky's really, really good. And I think both you guys make excellent points on Kentucky's on Kentucky's side. 